<laughs> That's awesome. Running out of time on this on this battery span. I got like 35 minutes left, guys. Edinburgh Castle was superbly awesome. Uh, we'll be back later. Excited to show you that. Later. Welcome. We are here. With the lovely Roslyn Chapel, where the uh, there's a lot of Masonic imagery in here. Limited access of no. Hmm. Oh, we'll see what we can do. I, I can get mine, it's fine. Ooh, I want the book too. Two, two, two other? Look at that, this book. Another Earl of Ross. Okay, I'm gonna get a ticket and we'll be right back. Okay. All right, we are at Ralston Chapel, of course. Uh, we've already been inside. Trouble is, the trouble is that they don't. Well, they're not too keen on shots, like cameras and video cameras and stuff, indoors. So we're kind of stuck out here. Uh, you can look online to see a bunch of pictures of the interior, so it's not like a huge issue. Um, this is the baptistry thing there. Uh, actually, I may be able to get some reasonable shots indoors. It's very cool. See if I can do that. Yeah, you can see a little bit at least. Show you some of the stained glass work. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> Thank you. In memory of the Right Honorable Francis Robert Sinclair, Erskine Earl of Roslyn, born March 11, uh, what? Oh, got it. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. And that must be, uh, in memory of Blanche, which I guess would be the spouse. Maybe right here. Oh, that is amazing. It's beautiful. Beautifully carved. Safe, safe at last, from doubt, from storm, from strife. Moored in the depths of Christ's unfathomed grave. With uh, spirits of just, with dear ones lost, and found again, this strange, ineffable life is life eternal. Death has here no place. And they are welcomed best who suffered most. From the sonnets. From the sonnets? Okay. 
Taking some pictures here. Oh, sorry. Careful. Careful. <clears throat> oh, this is cool. Showcasing the carved, awesome skill work of the stonemasons. Hard to replicate nowadays. There's no one with the skills. Because you have areas like where I'm, where me and my husband live, just in the Deep District, the national parks. Oh, yeah. And they have conservation areas. Oh. So you have officers at the local council who dictate how you have jobs done if you own an old property. Oh. We have a house that's 250 year old and it's made out of the local limestone, which is quite friable and soft, rather like the sandstone here. Mm -hmm. And you've got people with the traditional skills because the only way you can work it and actually replace the, the things that are there is a way that's suitable and doesn't upset the conservation is if you've got people still working in those skills. So ah. the more we get concerned with those things in this country as a whole, the more you get those traditional crafts are re-emerging. Fair enough. And they've got to do them the right way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can't mechanise when you've got really soft stone. Right. shot. I mean this the work on this building is beautiful. It's got school. Hi oh, nice lady. Not super attractive per se, but nice. Very nice lady. Check this view out. Oh yeah. See what's going on. Get another shot here. This place is awesome. I just on the occasion of his visit to Rosalind Chapel to April blah -dee blah Ooh. Oh, check this out. So it started here. Oh. Me? Uh, that's not a problem. I got one from the front. Did you get one from the front? I did. Do you want Believe what you don't want. Cool. Not a problem. Oh, what I wanted to showcase here was actually the work of the stone that shows you the stages 
of the stonework, stage one kind of, the carving begins to emerge as it is continuously carved. And then we get to the final piece where it has the teeth and the tongue and it's a doge. It is a doge. It's oh. very clever. Well, it's been all since chapel. Uh, yeah, we zoomed out, okay. And we'll be back probably tomorrow. I don't know what else we're doing today. And we'll see you later.